Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. So it's been a long time since I have done a Dollar Tree haul. The kids just recently got back from my mom's house and she's Nani over on Nani's Life, the Dollar Tree hauler. And one of the biggest um, benefits, I guess you could say, of having your mom be a Dollar Tree hauler is that she gives you tons and tons and tons of Dollar Tree items. So the next couple of videos I'm going to do are going to be some of our favorite items from Nani. And there are just going to be a few things that we've picked up along the way too, sprinkled throughout here. So I'll try to try to remember what I bought and what she has given us. But either way, um, you're going to see some hauls here from the Dollar Tree of our favorite things, mostly gifted from Nani. So here we go. I'll start first with the item that was in the cover. These are Betty Crocker brownie cakes, the rainbow fudge version. We have already made these. This box is empty. <laughs> so I normally don't do empty reviews, but I guess you could consider this one. These were very good. London, she is 11. She made these entirely on her own. You do have to bake the little um, cake part. And then there's a pouch of like fudge, chocolatey fudge for in the center and then a pouch of these rainbow sprinkles and she did everything completely on her own. You do need to have vegetable oil and an egg and a muffin tin, but these were very good. Not great for you on the holistic side of things. Obviously not good for you, but this is that 20 percentile. You know, I always talk about eating 80-20, meaning you eat really good 80% of the time when you are breaking your fast in the morning, you're eating a lot of protein and a lot of clean ingredients and clean um, clean meats. But then the rest of the time, you know, the other 20% of your day, don't limit yourself. Life is too short. I have seen, I grew up watching all these people around me diet and eat low fat or non-fat and fake sugars and just really terrible stuff like Diet Pepsi and Diet Coke and uh, just eat the damn cake. Like life is too short. That's that 20 percentile. Like don't punish yourself. Don't punish your body. Just live, you know, just do well most of the time, but like reward yourself. It's worth it. Anyway, so these delicious and Betty Crocker brand, I mean, for $1.25, like what a perfect little summer treat, if nothing else. So those were great. Another thing that we absolutely love and are super thankful from Nani is the Boom Chicka Pop. This is the salty and sweet, or I guess it's sweet and salty kettle corn. I'm reading it all backwards as I film this for you guys. Expiration date is October 11th of this year, 2024. I love Boom Chicka Pop. Um, it's not organic, but it is non-genetically modified, which is great. It says it is 100% whole grain popcorn, gluten-free, kosher, vegan, and there is no high fructose corn syrup in here. This is a 2.25 ounce package, 70 calories per cup. All right, we're just gonna stick to that food thing. Well, this is the last food item for this haul here, but you guys know how much the kids love pr Pringles. Not my cup of tea. I probably won't eat a single crumb of these. Um, just not my thing. I'm not a fan of the ingredients whatsoever. The kids like it. Is this what the kids are going to be eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Absolutely not. <laughs> They're going to be eating really well most of the time. But as a little snack for $1.25, why not? So this is a sour cream and onion flavor. I love the graphic. This is giving me uh, Cinco de Mayo or Dia de los Muertos <laughs> vibes, but I absolutely love that flair. So um, it says it glows in the dark. I have to try that out. That's cool. Surprised the kids didn't see that. All right, so moving on, I have two of the same thing here. I'll just show you both. We love these. These are called Diving Octopus. They're available right now in the Dollar Tree. 
These are a three, three piece set. These are like a really, I'll just get one out. These are really soft plastic and kind of like a noodle. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Those are really soft. I guess there's no weight in there. They just sink. Um, they have holes in them. So they just sink to the bottom of the pool. But the kids use these to dive, which I am a huge advocate for. I think that kids knowing how to swim and being comfortable in water, obviously supervised, is crucial. And if I can get things in the pool for super cheap that the kids are going to want to dive and increase their lung capacity and increase their swimming skills, I am all for that. So we love these little diving octopus. Come in two little colors, the blue and yellow and the green and orange. I wish they actually had more of these at the um, the Dollar Tree. I wish they had other shapes or varieties or something. As a kid, my cousin had a huge in-ground swimming pool. Where I, that's where I learned to swim. And I learned to swim at like eight. I was fairly old, but I loved being able to dive into their pool. And I loved diving for toys like that. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to have more variety. Sticking with that swimming pool theme, I saw this. I never saw these before. This is from that Outdoor Fun brand. This ages three and up. Same thing. Oh, these are six and up, I guess. Our dog got a hold of one of ours. He liked it, our puppy. So not great for six and under or puppies. This is for three and up. This is the Splash, Splash and Swim Glider. So it looks like a little stingray. Um, I assume it just kind of glides through the water. We'll try it. We'll see. But it's cute. Then we picked up a couple of floaties. You always need floaties. Now for $1.25 is a great deal. I love having floaties in the pool. I love big floaties. I like to lay in the pool, lay in the water, float around. So do the kids. So we picked up this flounder. Thought that was cute. And we picked up this shark. These are ages four and up. Inflatable kickboards. These aren't going to be huge. They're going to be, you know, maybe this big-ish. Maybe two, two to three feet. Oh, we have dimensions on here. How wonderful is that? So it's 23 inches by 14 and a half inches. The, that's the shark. And the flounder is 23 inches by 18 and a half inches. It's not huge, but fun still for kids. The last swimming item I got was this little Nemo swim ring. <laughs> Ages four and up again on this. Dimensions on here are 20 inches by 16 inches. Um, yeah, it's always a good time in the pool to have diving toys, throwing toys. I kind of like to get a little basketball hoop down there, so it'd be great if the Dollar Tree could, you know, get some more pool toys, that'd be great. <laughs> Dollar Tree people, if you're watching this, get us some more pool toys. All right, the last items that we got are, I showed one in the cover. This is them. I don't know if you can see this very well. We have a little bit of a glare here, but these are um, little gummy bear beads. So they are hard plastic and the hole goes through the top of the head and then out the butt. <laughs> But they are little tiny gummy bears. Look how cute those are. There are a hundred pieces in here. This is the Cousin DIY Jewelry Making Gummy Bear Beads. So I absolutely love those. And along with those beads, we got these beads. Alphabet beads. There are 325 in these. This is ages five and up. And does this say an age on here? Yeah, not intended for children under 16 years of age. Wow. So, 16 and up. 6 and up. <laughs> 5 and up. <laughs> so weird. These are bigger. I don't know. I don't make the rules. Alright. So, letters. Alphabet beads. And it's the same letter all the way around the bead. Yeah, nice big holes on there so it would fit like a hemp cord. It wouldn't just fit like, you know, a little string or anything. It's a nice big hole. So we got those beads. And the last item we have here, this Crafter Square. This is a macrame kit. 
Isn't that cool? And you can make those three bracelets there. So it includes, it's like a khaki or a tan string, a black string, and then this really pretty tealish blue turquoise, whatever you call that. And then some beads in there. They look to be black and gold. I don't know if you can see the bracelets they make very well, but those are super cute. So there we have it. So that is our first of, I think there are six total Dollar Tree hauls that we're going to try to do here. So you guys will have to stick around. So I always forget to say to make sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button, make sure to follow along, check back. I'm going to try to put content out fairly regularly again now that I'm on summer break officially. So stick around and we'll see you next time. Bye.